your day to shop, you might be interested in a mall that never closes. 600 Side reporter John Griner says all you need is a home computer. Shopping by computer isn't exactly new. CompuServe of Columbus has offered it to members for the last 10 years. It is sort of like catalog shopping, but until the last couple of years or so, catalogs had an advantage that computers didn't have. They had pictures. But in many cases now, if you're using your personal computer to order something, you can actually see it first. This is a, a PC Junior computer from JCPenney. It's sort of like a my first computer for your kids. You also can find turtleneck sweaters from Land's End, a hobby horse from Hemmaker Schlemmer, and a copy of a Matisse painting from the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. They call this the electronic mall, and the mall is always open. Yeah, there's no lines, there's no parking, uh, parking lot problems. You just go right into the mall and you have 125 stores at your disposal around the clock every day of the week. Of course, sitting at home staring at a screen at midnight won't get you into the holiday spirit the same way a trip to a real mall would, but it is catching on. And we're expecting an absolutely explosive holiday season coming up. You pay for purchases with a credit card. The electronic mall is available to users who pay $8.95 a month to subscribe to CompuServe. John Greiner, 6 on your side, Columbus. Thanks very much, Steve. Coming up on 10 minutes now after the hour. Are you a little anxious about fighting the crowds at your local mall? Well, you're not alone. More and more Americans are doing their shopping from the comfort of their own homes. And this morning, on the last day of our series, Holiday Shopping 93, our consumer editor, Paula Lyons, is here to examine alternative methods of shopping, beginning, as you know, with the most popular, which is catalogs, right? Absolutely. We're no strangers to them, Charlie. These days, catalog shopping is absolutely no mystery. More than 100 million of us will buy from catalogs this year, with an estimated 10,000 different catalogs filling up our mailboxes. Consumers can buy everything through the mail, literally, from soup like this variety pack from Pepperidge Farm to nuts like these from the Brown and Jenkins Trading Company. You can get anything, and interestingly, at, at any price. Absolutely. You can get things for under $20, like these videos from Critics' Choice or these Hanukkah books from Hearthsong. This is a coffee sampler from Starbucks. It's only $19, and they'll even give $2 to care for you so you can take care of your charity. Hmm. This little radio cap from Hammaker Schlemmer with the Orioles on it. I think you've seen that before. Yeah, I have. Thank you very much. <laughs> $40. Glad you that. Oh, it's stuck on. I can't steal it. <laughs> but you can pay hundreds. This is Steuben Glass you can now buy through catalogs in the mail. Mm -hmm. But the most pe popular catalogs are, you know, the Spiegel, J.C. Penney, Joseph Bank, L.L. Bean, Land's End, and they sell mostly basic clothing at a reasonable price. I have an account. I've gotten five Land's End catalogs in the last month. I figured that's a buck, buck and a half for each catalog, a dollar to mail it. They got to get a lot of money back from me to pay for those catalogs. Well, we're counting on them knowing what they're doing because otherwise they, it's curtains for them. <laughs> but of course, catalogs are not the only way to order by mail these days. We have some electronic alternatives to catalog shopping. Christmas is coming. You open the 1993 the holiday $50. shopping $50. season $50. is in $50. high gear on both QBC no, and the Home much, Shopping Network. Television sauce. retailing is the still really in its infancy. Sure, yeah. Two billion dollars in sales last year compared to 51 billion in catalog sales. But the potential for growth and the ability to reach 70 million shoppers is an opportunity traditional retailers can't ignore. Welcome to the 1993 Saks Fifth Avenue right here at QVC. Uh, our reason for, for going on QVC was to learn about this new technology, uh, to understand whether the cable television uh, shopping customer had interest in merchandise that a Saks Fifth Avenue uh, offers, and the answer was a resounding yes. Saks and other quality name retailers are also helping home shopping upgrade its reputation. It's taken a lot of knocks recently, for example, on the jewelry it sells. Published reports have suggested the quality and value of a lot of these offerings have been overblown. 
The jewelry may be worth the price that's charged, but it is seldom a bargain. And experts say while it may be convenient to order from the comfort of your own home, the costs of TV retailing make big savings on merchandise unlikely. At least 30, maybe as much as 40 percent of what is sold is returned to the retailer. Now that is not really the kind of thing that retailers either like to see or can live with in order to make this a profitable venture for them. Another alternative to the traditional mall is now being offered by several online computer services. CompuServe, for instance, offers unlimited access to more than a hundred merchants in what it calls its electronic mall. The cost? $8.95 a month. Because I don't like shopping and uh, I do like the convenience of just being able to see what I want you know, pick up the phone or in this case just bang it into the computer and, you know, have it arrive either here or to whomever I'm sending it. The consumer response to all of this, as far as we know, has been very, very poor. And one of the reasons is the uh, flaws in the technology. The consumer must really see not only a good graphic, but it must be made into something that is really desirable. There will be some of us that will want to receive the hard copy catalog, some of us who will enjoy shopping through interactive. I just think we're a nation of individuals and that all of them are going to have their place. And Paula, we've made this bench now look like my front hall mail table. <laughs> Mine too. Is it cheaper to buy by catalog? Sometimes yes and sometimes no. And people have to be very, very careful and do a little bit of comparison. And remember, if this is something that's important to you, watch the sales and don't order at the last minute. That's when those FedEx charges and other overnight services kick in. And that will really raise your prices significantly. Does, does almost everyone who sells by mail take the product back if you don't like it? Yes, almost all will. Consumers report reasonable rates of satisfaction when dealing with, with these companies. But if you have any problem, you have many people to turn to, from the postal service to your credit card company to others. Keep good records. That's the most important thing. And you will be able to battle back even if they don't have good return policy. All right. Thanks very much, Paula. You're welcome, Charlie. It is now uh, 15 minutes after the hour. Good morning, America. We'll continue. Next, Mel Harris.